Hi everyone, this is Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Wednesday Read Alouds. This week we are celebrating Father's Day with Hammer and Nails, which is written by Josh Bledsoe and illustrated by Jessica Warwick. Darcy crumpled up her playdate plans and plopped onto the bed. Her best friend was sick, and now Darcy's entire day was ruined. Daddy overheard the grumbling and knocked on Darcy's door. Knock, knock, knock. Daddy had a list of his own. Hey, Squirt, I've got an idea. What about having a Darcy Daddy Day? Darcy scowled. What do you mean? Well, we do one thing from my list, then one thing from your list, until everything on both lists gets done. Oh, Daddy, I don't know if you'll like doing the things on my... Uh, whoa, 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 Daddy interrupted. Give me a chance. Just uncrum uh, uncrumple your list and come downstairs. It's coffee time. We sip, we read, we relax. Can it be chocolate milk time for me? Sure thing, Daddy answered. There they are. Does your house look anything like Darcy's house? Oh, I'm covering up a puppy. She has a puppy and a kitty. And do you see outside her window, there's a bird feeder with a bird in it. Next, it was Darcy's turn. The first thing on my list was dress up, but... Fantastic, Dad said. These PJs are so unfashionable. Were you thinking fancy or super fancy? Darcy grinned. Super fancy, Daddy. Excellent. Daddy disappeared. <gasps> How does he look? A few minutes later, Darcy was digging for red slippers when she heard, Ta-da! Is this fancy enough? Darcy giggled. How did you fit into my tutu, Daddy? Daddy laughed. It wasn't easy. Now, Princess, I hope you don't mind getting your gown dirty. Meet me on the porch in five minutes. What do you think the next thing on his list is going to be? Hmm... Ooh. <laughs> Daddy called it Her Majesty's Mowing Service, hoping to bring a little glamour to the grass cutting. After several sharp turns and zigzags, Darcy was amazed at what they had created. It says D A R C Y. Daddy, is that my name in the grass? Indeed, my lady. This is your castle. Darcy beamed. This is fun. My pick now. We need to freshen up. It's time for hair salon. Daddy agreed. I'm definitely unfresh and my hair is a wreck. After curling and spraying and combing and brushing, Daddy had a daring new hairstyle and Darcy had an even more dazzling do. <laughs> do you see all the hairdos? Do you have a favorite? I kind of like the spiky ones. Look at Dad and Darcy both have spiky ones. They're kind of funny. We look fabulous, announced Darcy. Totally fabulous, answered Daddy. And now I'm choosing laundry. It's time for a battle, princess. Take no prisoners. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. There goes a sock right by her face. Take no prisoners and leave no socks unmatched. <laughs> to celebrate their victory, Darcy called for dancing in the kingdom. 
Dun da 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 da. It looks like Daddy's a very good dancer. Look at him. <laughs> then Daddy called for ice packs. Who? And a royal rest. <sighs> After a picnic lunch and a quick cleanup, Daddy fetched his tool belt from the garage. Now, Darcy, I don't know if you'll like... Whoa, 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 Darcy interrupted. Give me a chance. Fair enough. We need to fix the fence from around the castle. Take this hammer and follow me. I'll tap the nails into the loose boards and you'll pound them in. Darcy's eyes got big. This was harder than riding a mower or folding some socks. This was real work. What if she missed a nail? Smashed the fence, smushed her thumb. Daddy adjusted his headband and smiled. Princess, sometimes things you've never done end up being fun. Try it. Darcy nodded. After a few practice taps, Darcy got the hang of it and became the best nail pounding princess in the kingdom. Castle secure she announced when the last board was fixed. Darcy dusted off her hands and noticed her nails. Okay, Daddy, the last thing on my list is the best. It's time for manicures. This time, Daddy's eyes got wide. Nail polish seemed so permanent, not like fun outfits or wacky hairdos. Darcy adjusted her tiara and smiled. Daddy, sometimes things you've never done end up being fun. Try it. Daddy nodded. After trimming and filing, it was time for polish. Darcy chose lima bean green and Daddy chose lumberjack black. After a few smudges, Daddy got the hang of it and became the best nail painting daddy in the kingdom. As the nails dried, Darcy looked at her silly daddy with his crooked headband and grass-stained tutu. Then she looked at her own grass-stained gown and purse full of tools. Daddy, thank you for my Darcy Daddy Day. My pleasure, princess. You were great with the hammer. And daddy, you were great with these nails. The end. And do you remember what the title was? Well, Darcy says, oh no, Daddy said that Darcy was good with the hammer and Darcy said that Daddy was good with the nails and the title is Hammer and Nails. <laughs> the end. Happy Father's Day, everyone. I hope everyone there can give a big hug to their dad and their grandpa and their uh, great grandpa and any other dad-like figures in their lives. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.